and roughly 30,000 people a year in Korea experience abdominal hernia. Now, there are many different causes behind abdominal hernia, but there's been a growing trend among younger people due to excessive abdominal exercise in that search for the perfect six-pack. Now, one doctor in Korea has developed a new surgical method with reduced side effects and pain, leading to a quicker road to recovery. Take a look. A bulge in the groin accompanied by pain can be a sign of a hernia in the body. Known as an abdominal hernia, it's when part of the intestines push through a weak area. And it's most commonly treated with a surgery. But sometimes this can cause more pain for the patient. To minimize existing problems from this surgery, Dr. Kang Yun Shik has developed a new surgery technique. This is Chang Jin Guan, who is now in his late 40s. Five years ago, he suffered from symptoms of abdominal hernia. Once or twice a year, it wouldn't protrude that much, but it would hurt a lot. It was hard getting through it, but it would go away if I sat down for two hours or so. Eventually, he was diagnosed with inguinal hernia and received surgery. He has inguinal hernia, which is an indirect type, but he neglected it for too long and now it's in a serious state all the way down in the scrotum. An abdominal hernia is when the intestine is dislodged from its original location. When the muscles and fascia surrounding the abdominal cavity weaken, the peritoneum bulges out, creating room for the intestines to move. Abdominal hernia is something that happens often when the abdominal pressure gets too high. If you carry a lot of heavy things, put a lot of tension in the stomach or cough, it can occur. But if you have seroperitoneum in the stomach, it raises the pressure immensely, so a hernia can occur very easily. There's a 10 to 1 men against women ratio of abdominal hernia patients, making it a predominant condition among men. The number of patients also goes up with age. Among 100 people in their 50s, 17 are found to have abdominal hernia. The only method of treatment currently available is surgery. The number of people who receive surgery jumped from roughly 17,000 in 1999 to 33,000 in 2012. One of the reasons behind this increase is because of the growing number of people working out to create the perfect six-pack. Excessive abdominal exercise can lead to tension in the abdominal wall and a rise in intra-abdominal pressure, eventually leading to abdominal hernia. Out of the many different types of abdominal hernia, inguinal hernia is the most common, occurring between the pubic bone and the lower abdomen. It makes up for 75% of abdominal hernia cases. The most common method of treating abdominal hernia is the synthetic patch surgery. It uses an artificial patch made from thin synthetic fibers to cover the area, but it can bring about side effects. There are innate problems with the synthetic patch, and just as the FDA points out, pain can continue even after surgery, or it can get a secondary infection. In that case, the problem will not go away until the patch is completely removed. 75-year-old Yi Jang Hee has decided to receive a surgery called Masi instead of conventional surgery. This method was developed by Dr. Kang and it minimizes the incision, making recovery swift with almost no side effects. It's also conducted under local instead of general anesthesia, so it's also more accessible for elderly patients. Dr. Kang has more than 7,000 operations for abdominal hernia under his belt which is what has enabled him to identify the core of the problem and focus on that with his new surgery method. I've carried out many surgeries on abdominal hernia. Additionally, I wasn't certain about my method, so I had transitional stages of blocking the opening and using smaller patches. But then, in the end, I was able to conduct a surgery that doesn't use a synthetic patch at all and simply closes the opening with two to four stitches, so it has become very simple. With the treatment method he has developed himself, Dr. Kang Yun Shik focuses on minimizing risks and providing healthy options of recovery for his patients.